Hello friends, welcome to our channel Creating Essence. I am Megan. I am so glad you're here today. If you've been around here long, you might know that um, in my How I Fit YouTube creation into my daily life as a work at home mom, homeschool, five kids, is by batch filming. So I tend to pick a day where I can do several videos and then I just do them all in one day and put them out a little at a time. What that sort of time management trick doesn't show you is that I haven't actually done anything for YouTube in about two weeks. Those of you who follow me on social media know I haven't really been there very much in the last two weeks either. And the people who have noticed my absence have been asking, where have you been? Are you okay? What's going on? I guess the short answer to that would be, I am not okay. But it's okay to say that. I shared back in May that I had been really struggling with some panic and anxiety issues. And those aren't new issues for me. I've been dealing with um, anxiety and depression my entire life. I was diagnosed in 2015 with PTSD, stemming from some traumatic life experiences. And the past two weeks, I just kind of started going down, just downhill. And the only way I can think to describe it to my husband is I've just been feeling low. And everybody goes through ups and downs, you know, things bring us down. It can stick around for a little and that's normal. The thing that's made the difference for me is that I've just kept getting lower and lower. I've tried, you know, to fake it till you make it. That's kind of what I do when I start feeling low. I'm, I'm mindful of it. I give myself some extra rest and then I just push through and just try to power through past whatever funk I'm dealing with. And it wasn't really helping, so I had a friend date the other night. A friend so sweetly came over and we just hung out and knit and drank milkshakes and talked for a few hours. And not only did that not help raise my spirits and help me break out of the funk, but the next morning I woke up feeling honestly even worse. I think it might have been the awareness that I was so low that made me feel even worse. So now I know it's not a funk. It's not just the blues or something, something I've got to deal with. It's not the gray weather getting me down. It's, it's something I've got to process and figure out and deal with and work through. And I wanted to share with you all my strategies for how I do that. First thing I always do is work on my diet. I make sure that I'm getting tons of water plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. And I minimize, if not cut out entirely, sugar. I've just learned that those things can add to the funk. I've also learned that good nutrition and proper hydration with plain old water are really important for my body and my mind to be well and get well. I also try to be really diligent with exercise and it's actually a complete departure from my normal exercise. Um, I kind of put aside my fitness stuff and my cardio stuff and all the things that I really intentionally do every single day to work out. I just focus on moving because one thing I struggle with when I'm feeling low and I'm dealing with something like this is I want to say motivation, but it's not really motivation. It's like I, I can't make myself do something. It's almost like I'm paralyzed, like I'm stuck. And the thought of getting up and doing 30 minutes of cardio is a joke. But what I can do is take my kids to the park and sit in the sunshine or take the kids on a hike and just let them run and laugh and play in front of me and just walk and breathe. The fresh air, the sunshine, the watching my kids joy and laughter and exploration all go a long way in helping my mind and body. I also use a few different essential oils 
uh, to help with my anxiety, to help with sleep, because when I'm feeling like this, sleep does not come easily because kind of I can't shut my brain down. Herbal tinctures and things like that, that are just food source nutrients that naturally help my body calm down and give my body what it needs to deal with whatever it's dealing with at the moment. I am completely not against medications for anxiety and depression. I've been on them before and they are truly life-saving. They're also drastically overprescribed and abused. So before I get to that point, I do what I can naturally to take care of my body and give my body what it needs. I also stop faking it. I get really intentional and really mindful. I talk to my husband and I talk to my friend who's been supporting me and dealing with all this for more than a decade about how I'm feeling and I get real with them. I ask them if there's anything they've noticed because a lot of times the people that are closest to me but are on the outside can notice things before I even notice them. Um, a friend said to me that uh, she knew I was struggling because in my last few YouTube videos, even though my voice and my face were doing all the right things, my eyes were just kind of dead. I don't know. <laughs> but I get real about it and I stop trying to hide it because it's not going to go away just because I pretend it's not there. I have to actually process it and work through it and a lot of times look for a trigger, though many times I can't actually find a trigger. It's just something I need to walk through. I also am really intentional to notice goodness around me. Like I mentioned, you know, watching my kids hike and run through the park and play on the playground can be really helpful to me. I make, I make it a point to notice the goodness that is all around me and the joy and the beauty because that's not what my brain is instinctually focusing on. And it's not that I'm not trying to be real in that, it's that I'm trying to change my perspective. When my mind is feeling lost and overwhelmed about who knows what, it can be really helpful to purposefully look for the good things all around me. And the last thing that I really intentionally do when I'm feeling low is to avoid social media because I find myself scrolling on whatever platform I'm on and all it is is avoiding. I can mindlessly scroll for hours and it just in all reality is avoiding what I'm dealing with by escaping into mindlessly scrolling through other people's posts. I'm not going to disappear from social media altogether, but I'm definitely gonna intentionally be there less. My intention is to continue to be here and to continue to create content for our channel. Maybe I, maybe I will, maybe I won't. If really digging in and walking through and processing whatever I'm walking through right now means not having time for YouTube, then so be it. I hope it doesn't. Thank you for listening. If you're someone who struggles with anxiety or depression or PTSD, I see you. Tell me in the comments below if there are any uh, strategies that work particularly well for you when you're dealing with something like this. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.